age of an individual uh, affects very much the responses to drugs because uh, during different developmental stages, the brain functions differently. So for example, in during adolescence, the brain is not fully connected. And as a result of that, the normal regulation of the cortex of uh, the limbic brain is not as strong as when you are an adult. And thus, when you are intoxicated with alcohol, the response is going to be much more emotional than when you are an adult. And thus, the, the intensity of the reactions may also be accentuated when you're an adolescent because of that, but also the sensitivity of drugs is higher. Your brain is much more reactive to the chemical substances that are affected by drugs. So you have an amplified and exaggerated response. What will happen with the brain when someone takes a substance of abuse is going to be dependent on the drug that that person is taking. All of the drugs have common effects, but they also have uh, unique actions. All of the common effects include increasing the chemical that we know by the name of dopamine that is very important in regard. But they then have uh, their distinctive features. For example, alcohol is a depressant. So even though initially you may feel uh, stimulated, with uh, higher doses you will be depressed and at the extreme you can become anesthetized. With uh, stimulant drugs, like the name implies, like cocaine or methamphetamine, what you get is just very, very excited, and f uh, you feel full of energy, and you actually can spend many more hours without having to sleep. When you take a drug like heroin, you're going to be feeling this sense of well-being and calmness that is very characteristic of drugs that increase endogenous opiate activity in the brain. The use of drugs affects the behavior and personality of an individual, and it does it actually during intoxication, but also when a person takes them repeatedly, it ultimately can change their personality uh, pretty dramatically. And certain drugs, for example, chronic use of alcohol, can make you uh, much more sensitive to depression or much more sensitive to anxiety such that when you're not taking the drug, you, you really feel very, very uncomfortable and very, very edgy. Uh, when you take uh, repeatedly marijuana, for example, you may become very indifferent to things around you. You just don't get stimulated or activated by things that are in your surrounding. When you take drugs like uh, stimulants, um, and methamphetamine more than cocaine, but cocaine does that, their use can lead to psychosis and you can become incredibly paranoid and think that people are after you when there's obviously nothing around and you can actually start to hallucinate. So drugs have prof can have a profound effects on the personality and on the daily experience of an individual. It varies tremendously. Some people are more sensitive than others and we're trying to investigate why those differences and uh, it has to do with your age, of course. There are certain ages in which, uh, as, as we discussed before, your responses are going to be modulated, but it also has to do with your genes. There are just some people that because of their genetic makeup are much more sensitive so, to some of the adverse effects of drugs like psychosis is one of, of those ones where people can take a drug like marijuana and become psychotic and that psychosis can last long periods of time and that is apparently an interaction with your genetics. The brain um, takes a long time to develop. Of all of the organs, is the one that uh, you develop until many years after you, you are born. And currently, it is believed that uh, full development really occurs until you are in your early 20s. But there is still evidence that your brain continues to change until your 40s. But most of the development really is terminated around age 20, 21. Uh, there are certain periods uh, during that, those stages that there are faster changes than others. And um, th this is one of the reasons why we believe that the effects of drugs, when, when kids start to experiment with drugs at these stages, they are particularly vulnerable to their untoward effects because they are mixing a very potent chemical with all of these changes that are normally occurring to, on, on the brain that are very important to allow you to get your adult brain optimally functioning. So if you start to play around with these potent chemicals, it can disrupt those connections and make you more uh, susceptible, not just to becoming addicted to drugs, but also to some um, emotional or learning problems. <laughs>